G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Michael, today we're here with Athol and we're having a look at Athol's new spray rig setup. In the project, there's funding to help growers upgrade their spray equipment to get the best possible job so that we can use chemical in the best possible way, get the best result from it, save money, and as a byproduct of that, we're also reducing the, the risk to the um, freshwater uh, environment. So um, at the moment we've got this tractor running and we've set this up for band spraying. So the nozzles are closer together. These two are on, so this is spraying over the cane stool. The next two are off, this is the wheel track. So in Athol's case, if he needed to put on a product like Azulux, it's quite expensive. But all we're really worried about, especially early in plant cane, is grasses in the stool itself. What's in the wheel track we can deal with in other ways. What's in the stool is usually what's gonna cause us a problem. So by only spraying with half the nozzles over that cane, we half our chemical bill and we'll get just as good a job, if not better job, because we're running the correct nozzles. Yeah, just remember, so you're straddling one row. But you're straddling a row, so start in the middle. This is your row, they gotta stay on. Turn to off, on, off, on, work out that way. Oh, well, I've learned a little bit about the different ways nozzles work and the fact that we can, we can only spray half the paddock when needed is gonna be, a, well, it's a saving and it's just unnecessary. I guess if we can turn them off now without having to go through individually, all you've got to do is turn the turret on them. I think it's, um, yeah, it, it's an education thing, but I think it'll be good as far as money saving and time saving as well. You only got to mix up half as much poison to cover the same area. So that'll be good. And with the pressure gauges before, you're looking at a, a normal analog pressure gauge it's hard to see, whereas the digital one we got now is, um, yeah, it's exact. So I can lift the pressures up if I need to in a heavy infested area or whatever, but I know I'm going to go back to exact right bars. And yeah, that's always been a concern. I don't know, like five pound either way can, can be make a difference to the kill, whether you're getting enough poison applied or not enough. So I guess that's what I've taken out of it, it's a good rig to use and this will make it better and a lot easier and more efficient. So what we've changed with this boom, we've gone from 50 centimetre spacings to 38.75, which uh, perfectly sets the boom up for banding. Um, allows us again to leave the two nozzles over the hill on and potentially turn the two nozzles over the furrow off. Uh, they turn off just with a click to the side, turns them off. No need for blanking nozzles. We've got three nozzle set up. So we've got our fallow spray. Uh, it's, this is 24D compliant and a low water rate of um, around that 100 to 110 litres to the hectare. We've got a 24D compliant uh, higher water rate nozzle. Uh, this is going to work at that um, uh, two, 220 to 260 litres, 24D compliant. And then we've got a paraquat specific nozzle. Uh, it's not 24D compliant. Uh, however, it will give a coarse droplet rather than a very coarse droplet and covers a lot nicer. Um, we're about to test our two 24D compliant nozzles are a high pressure air inducted nozzle. So they need to be operating at pressures above four bar for optimal patination. Uh, so we're going to trial these um, green AI nozzles now and see if we can maintain four bar comfortably. Uh, also, what have we changed? We've put pressure indicating sensors here so that we can digitally read our pressure gauges for each section in the cab without taking any chemistry into the cab. And we put a reversing camera in so that the grower here, Athol, can see the nozzles that he wouldn't be able to generally see from the cab. Um, yeah, that's about it out here. All the pre-wiring went back, loomed through. 
we've got our Deutsch plug connections here. So if the boom ever has to ever has to get taken off of the rig, we can just unplug and replug here at the back. In through the dust covers into the cab. New sense uh, cameras and digital pressure gauge and isolation switches are mounted in front. All good. Well, I was sitting on four bar beer. Yeah, no, that, that was no problem at all, the pressure. Yeah, that's great. Beautiful. Oh, I love this rig, it's friggin' easy to use.